har me hearties, it's that time again. Shira me timbers, splice the main cell, grab your paintbrush. It's time for that lazy pirate again. Har har. Right then, back at club again this week and more Kings of War, uh, more practice uh, for a political. And we are playing Control Scenario. I'm playing my brother Mark, and I'm playing against Ed with his Basileans. So let's go through his list. So what have we got? Julius, uh, some sisters, scouts, uh, Gib Panthers. Aloha with Brew Sharpness, Yonix, uh, Knights with Pathfinder, more sister scouts. <coughs> Ooh, nothing in the centre, nothing in the centre. <laughs> um, Paladin, High Paladin with Scythe of the Reaper, Harvester thingy, uh, Jesse's Boots, Knights, and then um, the uh, Aloha Regiment with the Celestial Fury thing. Okay. So on my side, we have two regiments of villains um, with the upgrades, and a mounted chaplain with the loot. Villain skirmishers, um, just a troop. Then there's been a few changes to this list, so this is one of them. Right, so we've got a unit of villain bowmen. Then we've got a horde of paladins. Behind them we have a chaplain, so Augustus is gone, we've just got a normal chaplain now. Then we've got more Belaine skirmishers. And then we've got the other change, which is a regiment of swordsmen. And they have the um, nerve upgrade. Then we have the two regiments of abyssal hunts. One with um, Jesse's boots and the other one with the caterpillar. And the exemplar paladin with the um, harvester. So, here we go, we roll off first her, uh, yeah, who goes first, and the Basileans are going first, so game on. Right, Basileans, turn one. So, what happened? Move up. Julius moved to here. Archers just turned a little bit. Whole line, did it come forward slightly? Yes, everything's come forward slightly. Yeah, the archers stayed still and fired, and done four wounds on <laughs> this unit of cavalry. Five wounds, sorry, on this recovery. <laughs> and would have wavered him if it weren't for the fact that he's got rallying one. Boom. And these came forward over here, angry slightly. So, moving over to Brother Mark. Turn one. Right, turn one for the Brother Mark. And these pull back slightly because of Judas. The archer shot at the Paladins, doing a couple of wounds on them. But these are ages to get them back. The light cavalry moved to here and got healed by one wound back by the uh, chaplain. The horde of paladins moved to face that direction. The light cavalry came over in this direction as well. These two units of Bissell Hunt moved forward, as did the Paladin, as did the Swordsman. So, moving on to turn two for the Basileans. Right, Basileans turn two. So, what happened? Judas came in here, managed four runes on these guys. Pampers come to here. These girls shot at the Light Cavalry and killed them. These moved around like this. He shot at the other light cavalry, but double one. Uh, over here, the charge came in on one of the abyssal hunts, and they were taken down. So we are, oh, and the paladin moved to here. So we are moving to turn two for the brother mark. Right, turn two for the brother mark, and what happened? So uh, these nimble charge, these LOI on the hill, done two points of damage to them. So I think they're in a bit of spot bobber now. <laughs> uh, these killed off the Pantsvers and turned to face Julius. Um, these turned, took a shot at a paladin. Didn't do anything. Um, these paladins moved over to here. 
discharge into the sisters, done a couple of wounds to them, but didn't waver them. Uh, and over here, uh, these charged the uh, low high, popped their boots and wiped them out. And then the swordsman and a paladin managed. Um, it was seven wounds, but down to five after they popped their uh, aegis. So moving on to Basileans, turn three. Basileans, turn three. So what happened? Judas managed to kill the um, Baleans. The low high killed the other Baleans. These knights and the hero went into the paladins and got them up to eight wounds. The phoenix and the sisters over here shot the Valen uh, archers, got them at eight wounds. And over here, these charge infantry and got them up to three wounds. So we went on to Brother Mark, turn three. Right then, turn three for the Borough Mark. So, what happened? The chaplain charged the Hello Eye, managed to do a wound on him, so stopped him from blood. Uh, over here, the um, paladins charged the enemy paladins and didn't kill him. Um, the paladin charged the other paladin, uh, didn't kill him. Uh, a wound on the phoenix from the bowman and managed to see off the other unit of paladins with the pistol hunt on the men at arms. So, moving on to turn four for the Basileans. Right, turn four for Basileans. So, uh, the low high and archers charged the chaplain and managed to kill them. Uh, Julius and the paladin and the paladins charged the paladins didn't manage to kill them very lucky they only rolled a three on the nerve second dice roll so my paladins are still alive he flamed the archers killed them and these sneaky girls shot at my men at arms and killed them needing 16 and they rolled at 16 scary right Moving on to turn four for the Brother Mark. Turn four for the Brother Mark. And what happened? Right. The big thing that happened is the Paddins fell their heads strong. So they didn't get to charge. They wavered. So uh, over here, these charged the Abyssal Hunt, charged into the back of the Paladin and wavered him. And over here, these two charred phoenix put them on a couple of wounds. So, moving on to turn five for the Basileans. Right, turn five for the Basileans. What happened? Uh, the phoenix moved out the back out of the way. The low high came in and charged the uh, chaplain. But um, even though they did a nine wounds on him, they were on a roll of three. So they wavered him, not killed him. Shots came in against the paladin. Got up to two wounds. The uh, paladins are dead. dead. Um, and these got shot by archers and took a wound, but the arms all the way back. So moving on to turn five for the brother mark. Right, turn five for the brother mark. And what happened? Right, the exemplar paladin charged these, put a few wounds on them, but didn't manage to kill them. Didn't even waver them, which is a bit. Bummer. He was wavered, so he couldn't do anything. And these charged the paladin, killed him, uh, followed up into Julius, but only managed four wounds on him, and the iron was all gone back. So moving on to turn six for the Bastelians. Right, turn six for the Bastelians, and yep, the Abyssal Hunter dead. Charged by the paladins with the cat there, Julius and Phoenix in the flank. Managed to get him up to 14 wounds, I guess. So nobody was close enough for a uh, reroll, so they're dead. Didn't manage, shot both units of girls into the paladin. Put a couple more wounds on him, but didn't manage to drop him. So going into Brother Mark, turn six, and I have the paladin left. He will wreak vengeance. So going on turn six. All right, turn six for the Brother Mark, and yes. The Exemplar Paladin turned around and charged the Paladins in the rear, 
and killed them all. Hurrah! So we're going in to possible turn seven. Let's roll the dice. One, two, three, the game ends. Four, five, six, we go on. And it's a one. So the game ends. So let's have a look. So I've got one model left. So yeah, I think the Brother Mark have lost scenario points for the Basil Ends. They get one point for that. They're probably in this one, aren't they? So one point for those two, and then and two for there. So it's a two, three, four to zero win for the Basil Ends. Cheers for now.